right, ladies and gentlemen. My next guest tonight is a four-time Grammy Award-winning singer and songwriter who has sold over 150 million records worldwide. Please welcome back to The Late Show, Ed Sheeran. Thank been, you so much for being here. I think it's been seven, seven years since It I've has been, been seven years. Just yeah. about exactly. You were here in the first month of the show back in 2015 with the great Bill Withers yeah. at the time. Th thanks for coming back. Nice to see Man, you Man, that was, like, 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 honestly, one of the most special days of my, my life. I was doing the... They were doing a tribute show for the, the, the um, Carnegie Hall, and... Yeah, it was it kind of all happened quite last minute, and then suddenly I was just sitting next to him, just like this is pretty cool. Well, uh, yeah, it, you've been in the news lately, mm -hmm. um, uh, and I know what I'm about to say. Some of this is going to get blurred because <laughs> I'll prepare everybody. You've been in the news lately. Because Can I give gifted... context on this? What? Can I give context on this? Well, let me let me say what okay. it is before you give context, <laughs> and then you can contextualize. You, you've gifted several people an unusual gift. Um, six foot statues of marble penises. It's two and a half tons as well. Two, two and, and a half, half tons, tons. Yeah. so it's okay. Uh, who have you gifted this to? And a uh, quick follow up why? So, so contextu contextualizing, um, Elton John has been involved in my career from the get go, and he buys me weird gifts. Like, like what's the weirdest gift? I mean, you know, <laughs> probably can't talk about them on TV, but like, just like odd gifts, like sexual sort of objects. <laughs> We're all adults. No, I know, I know, but you know, I love you, Elton. Anyway, so for his 74th... Wait, more sexual than a six foot penis? Well, no, but, but this is the thing. So I'm, so he is very proud of the fact that Eminem bought him and his husband, David, diamond encrusted <laughs> rings for their wedding. And whenever... <laughs> and whenever... Where does one register for that? Anyway, whenever, whenever I'm around there, they're like, check it out, aren't these cool? And I'm like, I need to one-up this. I need to get Elton a present that's going to make him go, oh, my God. So I was like, right, I'll just get him a massive marble penis carved for his birthday. So I got this huge, like, floppy, droopy thing. <laughs> and I got... And I got why in... droopy? Well, just you know, why not? Uh, I, I had. You so... don't know why not? No. So, so I got, I got a few different iterations. So I okay. got like a, there was like a big erect veiny one. There was like a, yeah, yeah. So, so wait, yeah, sure. let me, let me explain. Let me explain. Let me explain. <laughs> so, I gave it to him for his birthday, and Elton was over the moon about it. And then it got out in the press that I'd done it, because Elton was talking about it, I was talking about it. And then I'd be doing interviews, and people would just be like, well, can I have one? So I would get them made for just, like, ra radio interviews, t TV interviews, and then Sam was round my house. Sam was recording at a recording studio Sam up, Smith, up yeah. the road, yeah. And Sam saw one of them and said, can I have one? And I said, what would you like? And Sam yeah. said, one the size of me, one that's six foot two. <laughs> so... There we go. That's it. Um, <laughs> I don't know how to make this transition, but you met the queen. <laughs> there it is. <laughs> no gifts, right? No gifts. Please tell me no gifts. Oh, my God. Yeah. How did, so, what, Her Majesty, what, what, how much time? Is this, this is it? Like, an instant with her? Or did you just spend any quality time? Uh, well, this is, this is a fun picture because she was smiling when she met me, but when she was... I, I was really, really early stages of my career. I'd released, like, one hit single and I was playing her, her Jubilee. But I was next to a really famous comedian who cracked a joke while she was shaking my hand. So I've got this picture of her, like, delighted to see me. But I, rem <laughs> I remember um, Kylie, who was, like, taking the Queen over yeah. to me, being like, and this is Ed Sheeran, and the Queen being like... <laughs> and then hearing the joke and then laughing, and then that's, that's the picture. But, no, but that was good, cos I basically... The day that I picked up the guitar was... Uh, the Golden Jubilee was on television. So Our I was... 50th. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. It was in 2002. I was 11 years old, and I didn't play the guitar. 
at that time. I was watching this thing on television. Eric Clapton comes on, does the first opening bit of Layla. And I'm like, what is that? And he finishes the song, and I knew in that instant, I was like, I want to be that. I want to have a guitar and I want to sing on stage. And then 10 years later, I'm playing the same thing. Ten, and I just played the one 10 years on from that as well. It's like, it's, it's, it's bonkers. Congratulations. Yeah, that's, that's a nice circle. What I would love is the... What would you love? Well, I would love, like, I picked up the guitar when I was 11 watching that, and then I played it 10 years later, and I would love for a, an 11-year-old to have been watching that 10 years ago, and now has picked it. You know, it'd be I nice to... I see what's already happening. Well, I hope, I, I hope so. It's kind of paid forward. Now, you've got your first U.S. tour coming up, the first, the first one in five years. First one in five years. Here's this back. tour, which is... Is this right, the Mathematics Tour? The mathematics Tour, yeah. We've just done uh, all of Europe. The, 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 the highest-selling European tour of all yeah. time, I'm told. Uh, well, well, that was the last tour, but this tour's doing about as good. Yeah, we're, 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 we're having fun. But it's so it's, basically... It's the first show, it's five years, the biggest-selling tour of the year, sorry, of the year. There we go. The yeah, yeah. Yes. No, no, we did, we've, done, we've done well. But, uh, but it's basically... Well enough it. to <laughs> afford marble <laughs> <laughs> That's not chump change. I gotta imagine that's not chump change. No, but it's, it's basically... It's a show... Um, when I finished the last tour, it'd been, like, so heavily publicised that it'd, be, it'd been the biggest tour yeah. of all time that when I came back, I wanted to make something that was... Like, I've never, I've never played in the round. I've never played with a band. I've never had like fireworks and flamethrowers and all of that sort. We have a clip here of that of that going on, Jim. <laughs> what is that like to be in an eighty thousand crowd, eighty thousand um, person arena while uh, the the board is exploding behind you? I mean, it's it's. The most amazing experience, because we usually you play end on and you're playing to a crowd like this, but when you're like submerged in the middle and it's coming at you at all, all angles, it's it's incredible. It's like my favorite show that I've done. I can't wait to bring it over as well. As you said, I haven't been here in five years and mm -hmm. feels like it's time to come back. Well, thank you for doing yeah. it. <laughs> thank you, man. Thank you so much. Thank you. Stick around, Ed will be right back with a performance mm -hmm. of Shivers. Mm -hmm.